Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna get right into it because if I don't, this video is gonna take forever. As you can see by the title, I bought this box for $25. A thrift store around me was having a tent sale. It was like $8 to fill a grocery bag full of clothes, or you could buy a box for $25. And this box is huge. It's 20 by 20 by 20. I'm only telling you the price of paper item for the purpose of YouTube and reselling. Don't put my comments and say I should be selling these things for $2 because no thank you. If you're a subscriber or you follow my thrift insta, I'll give you a discount. I'll hook you up if you want something. Don't come in my mentions and come at me is all I'm going to say. When we bought this box, my mom filled it with stuff for her too. She makes stockings and gives them to the needy in our community. So she filled this thing with like 30 stockings. With all that plus my stuff, it came out to 34 cents an item. But if we're only counting the things I got in the box, it was 75 cents an item. Before I get into the box, the thrift store had a tent sale out back, but they also had their store. Went into the store because you could find some good things. Nothing inside was on sale, but I still went inside and bought a few things. So first, I bought these men's Air Max, size 8. They're definitely a little beat, but I think I can clean them up. They were $8. Then I found these women's Michael Kors wedges. I thought they were super cute. They're my size, so we'll see if they fit me how I like. But they were $9. And then last... I bought this vintage starter Michigan t-shirts all embroidered up here. It has like the starter patch down here. It was $3, but I thought it was too cool to pass up. Now we're getting into the actual box. My mom was helping me also, so like some of the stuff she put in there that she just thought were good brands, so honestly, I don't even know. So first she got me this women's Pendleton like suit. Here's the top. Then I found this men's Columbia zip-up jacket. And then my mom found this Talbots Nua Tags Blazer 14 wide, $224 Nua Tags. Then my mom found this Casper suit. It has the pants in here. Then I found this Ann Klein Nua Tags. I know people talk about Ann Klein. I don't know if it's good or bad to sell, but I saw Nua Tags, so I picked it up. Then my mom found this plus size Chaps denim jacket. It's a dark wash. Then I got these just black work pants. No boundaries, so Target or Walmart brand. I got them for me for my job. I need black work pants. This. Now this item could pay off the whole box. This woman's Patagonia rain jacket. My mom found this DKNY coat. I don't know much about the brand, but she said it was good, so. My mom also found these. I was shocked. Side note, it was really weird. They had a bunch of coats, which I'll get to. They had like huge walls of coats and then they had like a little row of like clothing. And they had like two or three boxes of athletic wear. And my mom found these in like a box by the coats. But she found these, I think they're women's, red Adidas track pants with the trefoil logo. Then I found this Karen Scott cute just turtleneck sweater. And then my mom found this Calvin Klein blazer, women's size 10. Then I found this Columbia crew neck. I saw it and it looked really pilly and I almost didn't pick it up because I was like, oh, it's pretty used, but it's made of that material that just like naturally pilly. It's super soft. Then I got these Athleta women's like yoga pants, but they have like pockets, like jeans. Athleta is good quality, so I picked them up. Like I said, they had a ton of coats, so I got this women's Columbia coat. It's a size small. It has like the insert of like the fleece with the outer of the coat. And then I found this men's Columbia thermal heat jacket with the hood. Looks brand new. Super nice. Then I found these women, like Tiffany Blue North Face shorts. I found this Calvin Klein performance wear top. Then I found this girls Columbia jacket, like brand new, super cute. Then I found Cold Water Creek black dress pants, again for me. And then I found these Talbots gray dress pants. Super cute, like new. Women's size four. Then I found these Burton snow pants. I think they're women's small or extra small. For 34 cents, I could put these on eBay at auction. Then I found these women Nike dry fit shorts. I found this women's spider coat, size six. We're almost over the box, I'm going fast, I know. Then I found this Michigan pullover. Pullovers do well, I never really cared for them, but I see them at the thrift all the time. They sell people, so I picked that up. Then I picked up these blue striped pants by Ellen Ashley. I don't know what brand that is. Vintage Miami hoodie. Why not? I think this is a kid's medium Adidas winter jacket. It's like thick. So this was actually the first thing I found when I walked in and I was so excited because I saw Adidas. I'm like, okay, so this has some good brands here. And then last thing in this box. I believe this is a men's size large spider coat. Super nice. Spider's an expensive brand. So picked it up. And that is all for my $25 box. But there's more. So as you could see, there's a pile of coats next to me that just fell. 
like I said earlier, my mom did stockings for my community. There's all these coats earlier, and I was like, Mom, like, you should buy a box of coats and just donate them with the stockings. All the little kids can get a new winter coat. When I got home, we were going through this, my grandma's like, oh, they had so many good coats there. And I was like, yeah, I told Mom to get a box, and she's like, oh, I didn't hear you. And my grandma went to lay down after the long day in the sun. My mom and I looked at each other, we're like, let's go back. And it started as a thing for me, but it ended up being my mom and I had five boxes of stuff that we condensed back down to three. So we bought three more boxes. These are the coats that I'm going to try to sell. So all these coats are new brand. There's a few pieces of clothing in here. So with the coats and the clothes, it was 73 cents per item. For only counting the coats that were in the box with my other clothing, it was 82 cents a coat. Most of these are kids coats because that's what we were looking for. So my mom found this girl's Tommy Hilfiger coat got that little flag. My mom found this coat and I don't know the brand, but apparently expensive. It's a Marmot coat. The woman's size small, but it looks super small, but it's a woman's size small. Then there's these kids spider snow pants. Then there's this North Face jacket. Here's another North Face jacket with the fur on the inside. Well, here's some clothing that I bought. I found these men's Under Armour sweatpants. Then there's this Ralph Lauren polo coat for boys with a cool patch on the side. Then there's this little boy's Nike jacket with the Nike there, the Nike patch right there. Another pair of spider snow pants. Then I found this little boy's Under Armour coat, girl's Columbia coat, this boy's North Face jacket. Got these champion sweatpants. Then I found this girl's Columbia jacket, this little boy's polo with like the corduroy top. Then this little boy's Calvin Klein jeans. It literally says Calvin Klein's jeans on the coat. Like, that's bougie. Found another little girl's North Face coat. This is probably my favorite because it's so cute. This little girl's North Face coat. You can't see it. It says North Face, I promise. But the colors, and it's just so little. Then I found another Ralph Lauren polo coat. Again, with the dope patch. Then there's this little girl's Eddie Bauer coat. It looks brand new. Then there's this little boy's Columbia jacket. Then there's this jerry brand i don't know what the brand is but the coat's super nice so i'm gonna look it up another little boys columbia jacket but another little columbia like zip up for little boys this little boys nike coat this little boys nike coat this is a girl's large north face coat and then i got this ralph lauren polo like zip up jacket you had to go in and pay after you had your boxes ready and then you had to come back out with your receipt to show that you paid for the boxes and then you put them in your cart as my mom was walking back out to show the woman her receipt she walked past this Ralph Lauren polo bear. My camera's dying. It's probably going to end right now. That was my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links below to my Mercari Poshmark Instagram. And I'll see you next time. So pull me closer.